So now we are at our plate number 7. So in this plate, we will be using the circle, offset, and trim command. So this is not your first time um, using this command. Uh, we've been using this command since our previous plates. Um, during the last play that we had, we started using the circle command. So if you can see here, we only have this kind of data. So we this signifies as the diameter. Um, but in this plate, we have two data is given. Um, this one, when you see an R, it means it's the radius. So we are given the radius and the diameter. Um, I will be showing you how to draw a circle if you are only given the radius. So the rest, this one can just be trimmed and offset and all. Anyway, uh, let's start creating this plate um, by creating a rectangular shape. So we have a 6 and a 3 because the radius is 1.5, so the diameter is 3. So let's start with line. So let's have it. We have 6 for this one. Enter. Then 3. Enter. Then 6 again. Enter. And then you just um, type C to close our figure. Okay. So now... Let's have um, the gap here. So to draw that, let's offset this one. Offset. We have two. That one and this one also on the other side. While this one, we have um, 0 0.5. There. So let's trim this part. So type TR, double enter. Trim this one, let's trim this one, and this one, and this one. So basically, we already have this figure. Now let's proceed to our circles. Let's create first this bigger circle. So we have um, the radius 1.5. Though you can actually um, draw it um, using a diameter. Because we have options here. Diameter, this is what we used last time. But since we are given the radius, let's try this one. But you can use this one. Naman. You just have to multiply it by 2. So that's a 3. Um, let's try um, using this one. But we have to identify first your center. In this case, uh, let's offset this line to be our reference point. So we will have this at... 1.5 there so this is going to be the center of our circle so let's have this command so to type we have 1.5 and then we can do the same just repeat enter and then 1.5 there there you have it so let's trim this area let's trim this part so again, TR, double enter, trim, 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 and trim. So let's let's still use this one to create the smaller circle. So we have a diameter of 1.25. So again, circle. You can also use the circle command. So it just pops up if you type C. But um, this one's asking your... Um, I think the rate, uh, the diameter of that one. Oh no, the radius. Let's try first if it's gonna be the diameter. It's too big. So instead, let's just use diameter here. So 1.25. There. You can actually just copy this one. Since you already know the copy command. Copy. CP. Then you have it here. Yeah. Since we already have the circles and all, let's just delete these construction lines that we made as reference. So there you have it. We already have our figure. The next thing that we're going to do, we have to put the dimensions. So we have our dimension for this one. We have two. We also have the dimension for this one. Let's just inline that one. 
this one too also have the six here so remember that i i have done the i, uh, I activated the snap cursor for object snap so you can use that using f3 you can activate that one and here let's go to the angular so if you can see there are also options um uh, for the dimensions since we are gonna be using the radius and the diameter for our um, circle dimensions let's first go to the diameter so to do this let's have this one yeah so we have it here um then let's have the radius so this one so we have that one and this is your plate number seven so again you know what to do you just put it in our plate for the title block 